Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Ola TV application to your Fire Stick. It's an app that a lot of people use to watch live TV online. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device. And there, in the search bar, we need to start typing the loader. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still need to actually set it up. So in order to set up the loader, we'll go to settings by clicking on that button with the gear icon. Then you need to scroll down until you see My Far TV. Let's open it. And from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then you'll need to install unknown apps. From here, just locate the loader, there it is, and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, and there you'll find Unloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to United Kingdom right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, open up the loader, and wait until it loads for you. Then here, on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on Home, and here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 28907. So once again, the code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make a mistake, then your code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go, and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot, and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website has opened, we just have to scroll down a bit, until we find that list of categories. And from here, you'll need to click on Live TV. So let's click on Live TV. And now a huge list of apps has opened for us. We just need to scroll it down until we find the Ola TV application. 
it seems we missed it. It should be somewhere here. Yep, there it is. There is the Ala TV application. The website might be laggy sometimes, so let's find it again. Yep, there is the Ala TV application. Let's click on it. Damn, this website is so jumpy. Let's go down again. It's somewhere here. Yep, we need to click on it. Then an ad might pop up for you. If it does pop up, don't worry and just click on close or on X to actually close down the ad. So we need to click on close. And now a new web page is going to open. Should open a couple moments. Yep, there it is. So we also have to scroll it down until we find that download button right here. We'll need to click on that button. But if for some reason it doesn't work and the download doesn't start, you can always use the backup download link. So let's click download. And now in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on the connection speed. Then click on install and wait until all the TV gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you're using. And then don't click on open yet. Instead, press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from our Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because you don't have too much of free space on your device anyway. Then finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick. Right here, let's open it. Wait until it loads for you. And now here at the bottom, you'll find all the TV. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way, all TV is always going to be at the very top of your application list. And therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.